and a taking action alert tonight. Beware of student loan forgiveness scams. They're on the rise after President Joe Biden announced his plan to cancel debt for certain borrowers. Capitol Bureau reporter Jackie DeFisco is live in the studio with us. So, Jackie, what do people need to know to avoid falling victim to one of these scams? Yeah, guys, well, you'll remember less than a month ago, President Joe Biden said that those who meet certain income criteria can have up to $10,000 in their federal student loans canceled and double that for Pell Grant recipients. Now, as borrowers wait anxiously for that relief, I'm told scammers are wasting no time taking advantage. Tonight, a new student loan forgiveness scam could have serious financial consequences. And you think you're going to get loan paid off, but you're going to get, unfortunately, more debt. Barry Moore, president and CEO of the Better Business Bureau serving Central Virginia, says imposters claiming to represent the new federal debt cancellation program are reaching out by phone and by mail. They'll ask you to fill out a form to see if you qualify, but he says they're really after your personal information and bank account details. The scammer may also urge you to pay an upfront fee or redirect your current student loan payments to them. Well, right off the bat, no government agency is going to ask you for a fee like that to just see if you qualify for a program. So beware. The BBB says be skeptical if someone claims you'll miss out if you don't act right away and be wary of out of the blue calls. Moore says government agencies won't usually reach out to you without a request first. When in doubt, contact the Department of Education directly to verify the claim and report to the BBB scam tracker. So this can grow very fast. By the Christmas holidays, it could be exploding if we're not cautious and if you don't get the word out. And the Biden administration has said that many will get student loan relief automatically, but the Department of Education is encouraging eligible borrowers to fill out an application just in case. However, that application not expected to be launched until early October.